why why I choose to get hit in the face. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, it, no way, not that many people know, not that many people know why why, but I thought I would meet a lot more, you know, a lot more girls and and see, you know, sit there and go fight and and meet all these girls and have fun and stuff like that. But it wasn't it's not the case at all. Uh <laughs> It's not the, so USWF in uh, in Texas. Steve Nelson was the uh, the promoter and the owner and and the fighter. He fought Half Gracie. Uh, at one time, it was the largest mixed martial arts uh, we call it attendance in Texas or I think in the United States at the time. I think it was back in ninety six, ninety seven. Yes, ninety six, ninety seven. That's way back then. But I went to the first show. Saw Paul Jones. In which Paul Jones fought in the UFC, he fought Chuck Liddell a couple of times, I think just once, and he fought there a few. Uh, Heath Herring was in there, and the crowd was just screaming. You know, it was a real small place, like 3,000 people, just there in this little soccer arena in Amarillo, Texas, and it was a little ring, a boxing ring, or uh, it was just the old Pro WF, like a WWC kind of old wrestling ring. And, and Steve Nelson had this idea to keep the ropes real loose so when you hit the ropes you almost fall out and it's spectacular and and it's real fights that's what that's what he pushed it as real fights USWF Unified Unified Fighting Federation or the US uh, it, it doesn't matter but crowds going nuts and I'm sitting there going wow the crowd just going crazy I go man I want to do this I go ah oh, so I get in the UFC it's uh, yeah I want to do this and so I run up to Steve Nelson, I said, I want to fight, I want to fight. And he goes, well, uh, how much does it pay? And he goes, a dollar to lose and 500 to win. I'm like, Psh, I'm getting that 500. You know, I don't want to hit that dollar. And that's a, the, the money motivated me. But at that time when I saw the crowd, I'm looking around and the crowd just going nuts. And Amarillo, Texas is just a fight town. And all these cowboys and rednecks and Mexicans and Asians is just raw, just a big old club, just screaming. I go, man, I want that. That's what I want. And I see, to this day, and thinking about it right now, it gives me kind of goosebumps how how exciting that was to hear that crowd. And I wanted that. And, that, and I think that's what drove me is I wanted that 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 push and just to be in front of that crowd. And man, the roar of the crowd is just awesome. You know, it's nothing compared to 18,000 people. Or you know, 20,000 people, but at that time in 1996, looking back in Emerald, Texas, that crowd was so loud. I wanted to fight. I wanted to be in front of that crowd, and to test myself. You know, am I really that tough? Am I really that that? Can I really do this? Can I really fight? And and that motivated me. And so finally, a few months later, I get a call and Stephen goes, you, "You know, do you want to fight?" And I go, "Yes, I'll fight." No idea how to train, so me and my buddy uh, Alfred, Alfred Perez, what, you can't call him Alfred, you got to call him Chongo, and we would go bell hay, and we'll bell hay all day, and then we'll go to the gym and I'll kick him or punch him and train for two weeks, and poor Chongo, I kicked him so hard, I kicked him and punched him so hard, and he loses his breath, and he goes, okay, 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 one more, one more, all right, hold on. We'll sit there and we'll drink Coke or something and get back in the ring and move around and I kick him again and fold over and he's probably my first training partner and, and I get in front and finally get to the to the arena and fight and fight James Stone, which is not on my I'm not on my record, which I I did get a knockout. I, I yeah, a knockout, I need him in the head, knocked him out. Uh, that's not on my record, that was my first fight. USWF, James Stone. Gotta try to get that on my record at all bought me up a little more. But that's what motivated me, hearing that crowd and just that chant, you know, just, ah, kill him, break his brains, you know, it's just, it, it was, it's, it's funny. And that's what motivated me to, to stick with it and fight. And then it goes into a whole different realm of why am I doing it after that day. But the crowd and the rush of, Competition. That's a good thing.